two and one and go. Hello, this is Tinker. I'm gonna show you how to do just a little puppy trimming. Um, just a little bit of grooming. Really doesn't do too much for them necessarily, except really get them exposed to having their feet handled, their ears handled, their tail handled. It'll help you with a vet and it'll help you with future grooming. Um, I just use a little scissors. This is actually um, a Chris Christensen is the brand name. Um, any little scissor, oster will do. Um, I, th some of them have the safety, little safety bubbles on the end. I had them actually t grind them off of this one. I like just the straight edge. But you just need a little scissors or like a, a little mustache scissors maybe for a, for a guy would work well too. Okay, let me show you what we do here. And again, it's really just getting them used to um, being handled and, and she's gonna fuss and move around a bit and that's fine. And I just I just keep doing my thing and, and um, work around her as best I can. Again, she just gets used to this. Um, but it's nice to, to get them used to um, having the hair trimmed. Come here, babe. Having the hair trimmed around their the pads of their feet or under, in between the pads of their feet. Um, well, where are you going? It will help in the spring, in the fall, when you got a bunch of mud, the mud won't stick to that hair if the hair is trimmed out nice. Or of course in the winter, when you're looking at s lots of snow and ice. So keep that trimmed up nice. You can also pull this middle hair up like this if you want and trim that a little bit too, trim that. So we're gonna just keep moving here because she's kind of antsy, which is fine, that's normal. Kind of the hardest part is to figure out how to maneuver them. You gotta keep her face out of this, of course. How to maneuver them and get to a good trimming spot. There again, if I wanna pull this, this middle hair up, I know, I know, you're curious. And then cut that off, I can do that. All right, let's move to the ears. I'll try to show you on this ear. It's hard, because I'm trying to stay out of the way of myself here. Stop. Just got a little dirt. Um, it's important to clean, keep this hair cleaned out um, so that air can get to that ear a little bit. And again, you just kind of make a couple cuts. I'm gonna, this is just cosmetic. I'm just gonna trim around the outside a little bit. She's gonna eat the hair that I just cut off. That's okay, won't hurt her. Now she's gonna eat my fingers. Again, I just kinda keep, keep going and let her be busy, but she's gotta still kinda stand still. And every once in a while, I'll just kinda reposition her and and just keep trimming. I don't really tell her, oh, you're a good girl, you're a good girl. I don't really fuss about that kind of thing. I just I just keep doing what I'm doing, and as soon as I'm done, then she gets praise and a cookie, and I'll tell her she's a good girl. But until then, she just needs to kind of hold still and mind her manners. And she's doing a pretty good job. She's She's been trimmed on a little bit before, so she's not unaccustomed to this. See, I just trim around the ear a little bit. Again, I trimmed underneath there a little bit. Now, if you want to, you can trim their whiskers. I usually will have trimmed them by now. Again, this is just a cosmetic thing. No, they don't need their whiskers for hunting. When they're running pell-mell through the woods or through the fields, their whiskers aren't gonna stop them from getting in trouble. Yeah, keep your tongue in there though, little one. So if you want, you can do your whiskers. That's totally your choice, of course. Yeah, keep your little tongue in there, Missy. Yeah. So you can do their whiskers. Again, it's just, it helps with, it's gonna help with future vet visits and future grooming visits. And look at how good she's being, good girl. Okay, so now let's switch to the back end here. And you can just do little bits at a time too if you just wanna do a couple feet. Um, or if you want to do, you know, one ear at a time or whatever. I'll stick to the feet here and I'll keep doing that. Again, just trim around. 
She doesn't have much hair. She's just a baby, just 10 weeks. This is Tinker. Her mom is Sally and her dad is Ricky. We have her brother, Wheeler. Nice little litter of puppies. So again, just trim around those feet. And I've just kind of, I'm pinning her kind of with my, with my elbow and just trimming around those, la -dee da Just getting her used to being worked on, getting her used to being held, getting her used to, you know, kind of um, doing what I want her to do rather than just what she wants to do all the time. Now, I'm gonna flip her around. Um, I, do, I do trim off these little private parts, whether it's a boy or a girl, I keep that trimmed up nice so that you don't get urine that clings to that hair and gets sticky and icky. Um, okay, now the tail. I don't like the flags. That's not, not something I like. So I like to keep that trim nice and tight. She's eating here again. All right, Tinker, behave. See, I just keep, she fusses and moves and that's okay. I just keep putting her back to where I want her. And you trim this up. You also wanna trim around the anus a little bit here. Keep that trimmed up. Come here, little girl. Good girl. Here, let's do. Good girl. All right, just keep trimming that up. And again, she's being really good. And there we go. We got the, the butt trimmed up. We've got the feet trimmed up. We've got the ears trimmed up. We did our whiskers, at least sort of did our whiskers. Good girl. And, um, you know, as they get older, you can look at my, our other video. Joe and I did another video on trimming them um, when they're older. Um, but this is going to be our next little show puppy, so we're pretty excited about her. So any, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.